Hey guys, it's Thomas Bianco, and welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be a three video series where I'm going to be building my autonomous drone. So I have a bunch of parts here, and I'm going to be showing you how to build a drone in the first part. In the second part, I'm going to be showing you how to configure the software. And the third part, we're going to be doing um, a flight footage and how to uh, operate the, the drone while it's in the air. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so to show you all the parts, uh, this is going to be our frame that's going to uh, hold all of the components of the board. This is our flight controller, our ESC, uh, our motors are all here. We have our um, receiver that's going to be connecting to our controller. We have uh, some LED lights for finding a drone just in case it crashes, and also they look kind of cool. Uh, we have these battery straps, he's going to hold on the battery and the HD camera. We have our props. We have some uh, battery pad tape. So this is gonna hold down the battery so it doesn't fall out as we're flying. And then here we have our GPS module. Um, you're also gonna need a uh, transmitter uh, and that's going to connect to our receiver. I'll be showing you uh, how to do that uh, in the second part of the video, how to configure everything and connect your radio and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into the video. So the first part we want to do is to um, get the frame set up and put the motors on. We're going to work from our way out and then work our way in. Um, so yeah, let's get doing that. All right, so now that we've got all the parts laid out, you see you've got the main uh, part of the frame here. Um, now I do believe that this is the front here because you can see the little notches for the uh, camera plate that's going to be going on the front right here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our motors and figuring out uh, what kind of length screws we want to put because you can see in here we have, uh, I believe it's 5 millimeter length carbon, so we need to figure out what, uh, what kind of screws we need so that the uh, motor screws do not touch the windings in the motor, otherwise you're going to burn a motor. If we put the screw in like this, you can see here that the uh, the threads of the screw actually stick out quite a bit from the motor. I don't think it'll touch the windings because it is so far away from it. Uh, let's try if they have any smaller screws. All right, so I do believe these are the only screws that come with the motor. Um, so I think we'll just use these ones and these ones will work fine. So you're going to take your um, uh, 20 uh, millimeter hex driver. You're going to want to put this in the screw. Line up the screw and screw it down. Well, make sure you don't tighten them down just yet. want to tighten them down kind of like a tire so you're going to go from each corner and you can check here you can see that even though the screws do come up a little bit past um, the screw slot they are nowhere near the windings they're uh, quite a few millimeters away from it so now that's good now we can put on the other four motors so the next step we have to do is going to be uh, mounting our ESC and soldering up the wires All right, so now you have to think about, um, so you can see here that we have a motor number on each one of the motors. See here we have motor one, two, uh, three, and four. So motor one, um, let me check my chart. I think it's supposed to be back right. Motor two, uh, top right. Motor three, uh, bottom left and motor four top left. We're just gonna have one screw from the flight controller, or from the um, the frame, sorry, going all the way through the bottom, uh, going through the ESC and through the um, flight controller here, and then we'll put some spacers in between to separate the two boards. All right, so let's start doing that. It's the M3, the um, M3 by 16 bolt. Here. 
this looks like it's it. These four screws here. Okay, so now we're going to cut the wire lengths, the motor wires, for the ESC. Uh, tin the motor wires and uh, tin the solder pads and then solder it on. So, first thing we're going to do is just take our motor wires, route them the way you want them. I'm going to put them on the inside here. Give, you, give yourself a, a little bit of extra slack because you don't want to have too less of the wire. This looks probably about good. Cut a little bit extra. Now all I have to do is just line up the solder pad, see where you want it. Uh, we're gonna get our wire strippers and strip the wire. All right, so now that we've cut it to the right length that we need, we're just gonna twist it up. And we're going to take your hot soldering iron, make sure to clean the tip. And we're just going to tin up the wire away from the boards. All right, so this one's the furthest one, so we're going to put it to the furthest pad, right there. Let's turn up the pad. Right, so now we've got solder on both of those things. You're going to take your tweezers. Okay, so what we're going to do now is solder on our capacitor and our battery lead. Um, we're going to angle the battery a little bit this way. We're going to make it come up the side here. So we're just going to solder on these pads a little bit on an angle like, like that. That way we can get our battery lead to come up over here. So now that we have this on, we are going to get uh, some nylon standoffs. You can see we already have one on here from our assortment of things here. We're just going to use these ones right here put four of those on the posts and then we can mount the flight controller on top all right now we have our flight controller make sure the arrow is facing the front I'm gonna push it down actually you know what probably should have done this before but I think I can still do it let's just take the wire that connects the ESC to the flight controller if you're using the Kakute F7, like I am here, and the uh, Teco 34, something like that, the, the EC 60 amp ESC from Holy Bro as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to take this off. The connectors are the same, so you can just take the connector from the uh, the ESC. I would get the longer one just for the way this works, and then I'm gonna put that down like that. Twist it up so you can take out the slack. It is keyed, so make sure you line up the uh, keys correctly. There right, we go. Now it's all connected. And so now we've connected our ESC up to our... Um, flight controller we can start working on uh, putting the camera installing the camera our receiver our VTX and the uh, a GPS and compass so let's start doing that now um, why don't we start with doing the camera considering it's at the front here and these pads are kind of gonna be right there let's grab our camera this is a camera here this is a run cam eagle um, that I've spray painted red, not the best paint job as you can see, but good enough to try and match the color scheme here of the red. Um, let's grab the connector for that. All right, so we have this connector here. This is gonna go into the um, the camera here. I wonder if I have a uh, oh beautiful okay cool. So I I also have this this one here. This only has three wires, and we're only using three wires from the camera anyway, because we're not running, um, we're not running any sort of uh, audio through the camera. So we can just connect this up here onto the last port. We're not gonna 
put it down just yet, but roughly it's probably going to sit about there uh, on the frame. So we can just take our wires, give ourselves a little bit extra slack, cut them. Also, you can see here on the board, um, we have uh, ground, 5 volts, and video in. So we're going to be using Betaflight OSDs. It's going to give us some status inside of our uh, goggles on what the drone's doing, especially because it's autonomous. We want to make sure that we have that update information. So the black wire is going to be ground, 5 volt, or the red wire is going to go to 5 volt, and then this yellow wire is going to go to signal. So we'll just strip and tend these wires and solder it down. So now we're going to install the LEDs so that we can get that out of the way. So we're using these Lumineer Digital RGB uh, LEDs. What we're going to have to do is take the connectors from these LEDs, connect them together. That way, it's um, that way they can all connect to one port because there's not four LED ports on this board. So we need to connect them all to the same uh, wire and then connect that wire to here. So let's start doing that now. Okay, so I've twisted together all the black wires. Um, the, so the two in the back and the extension from the front two and now I'm just going to solder on that connector here Once I've done that you can repeat the same process with the red and signal wires So we're going to solder up the VTX wires, so we're going to be connecting VTX to um, video out um, the battery power which is B plus right here uh, and ground right here so those are the three wires we're going to need from our VTX. I'll solder those up now. So instead of plugging it in and soldering up the wires, I feel like it's just a little bit easier to plug it in, cut the wires to the length, then uh, just tin them, and then solder them on, and then plug it in. It just makes it a little bit easier to do. Now we're going to install our receiver. So I'm thinking about putting the receiver right in the front here, and then running the two antennas along the arms like that by putting zip ties and heat shrinking it. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but before we install like that, we're just going to unplug the connector and connect up the wires. So these wires are already pre-tinned. I don't think we need to cut them. It's better to have a little bit of extra length in case we want to change the positioning of where the receiver is. So the red wire is going to go to 5 volts, black to ground, the yellow wire is going to be a signal uh, that's going to give us telemetry, so we have to put this on a transmit port on the receiver, or also on the, on the flight controller. And then this is going to be our S bus. So the S bus is going to go to a receive pin on the receiver, or on the uh, flight controller. So let's tin the pads for the receiver. We're going to be using um, R1. I believe is this one right here. Uh, we will be using transmit to and also uh, five volt. And ground. Once you have those can, uh, tinned up, we will be connecting up these. Alright, so I got my longer zip ties here. They are still the same uh, thickness, but they are a little bit longer. It's going to allow us to get further down the arm and get more uh, extension from the antennas. So we're just going to um, take the zip tie, wrap it around, put it through, and then tighten it about as hard as you can just to get the maximum amount of length out of it. And then all we're going to do is just put some heat shrink over the antenna like that, and we will be good. So now we're just going to set up the wires for the GPS, and then I'm going to mount it. Um, 
So, you see these wires here are not color-coded. Um, they do give you a little red wire to get do a key. It's supposed to be to plug in to um, another flight controller that's compatible with this directly. But we're going to be direct soldering it. So, uh, the red wire you would think would be power, but it's actually not. The red wire is SBL. The um, wire beside that is uh, SDA. This wire in the middle, or like right here next, is 5 volt. This is um, RXD, TXD, and ground. So now we're going to put the uh, Elma grip onto the uh, top plate here. Uh, the top plate can go either way, so it just doesn't, doesn't matter. Stick it onto the side. I've cut it to length, and now we're just going to stick it on. All right, so now that we've finished soldering up all the joints, I have, you see, got the trusty, trusty arm, arm grip on the top plate here, and I also put a little bit on the camera plate, um, just to hold down uh, the HD camera. I put on my straps, my propellers, and we are now uh, ready to fly, pretty much. Uh, we In the next video, we're going to be binding this to our transmitter and setting up the things um, to get this quad flying. If you uh, like this video, please like and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed. Thank you.